In this video, you'll learn how to quickly adapt Google Cloud Platform services with Spring Boot Framework using Spring Cloud GCP. GCP engineers have been working closely with the Spring teams to produce idiomatic integrations for many of our GCP services. Let's see how you can use Cloud Spanner, add distributed tracing to Cloud Trace, send logs to Cloud Logging with a Spring Boot application. First, create a new application using Spring Initializer at start.spring.io. In the bottom, you can add dependencies to add capabilities to your application. Add GCP support. Generate the application and open it in your favorite IDE. You can use Spring Data with Cloud Spanner so you can take advantage of Spring Data features such as object relational mapping, CRUD repository, eventing, and auditing. First, add the Spring Cloud GCP Cloud Spanner starter. Create a POJO for object relational mapping. Annotate the POJO with Cloud Spanner annotations to configure table mapping and primary keys. Rather than creating your own data access object, you can use Spring Data's repository to automatically generate and implement CRUD operations to Cloud Spanner. In application.properties, configure the Cloud Spanner instance ID and database ID to connect to. You can then use the repository for basic CRUD operations, but you can also enhance the repository with additional finder methods or custom queries. Spring Data will automatically infer the query from the name of the method, or use the query that you provide using the query annotation. Finally, rather than creating your own REST controller by hand, you can also use Spring Data REST repository to automatically create and expose a RESTful service that can perform CRUD operations against the Cloud Spanner database. It's important to understand the topology of your distributed system. You can accomplish this through the use of distributed tracing. You can use Spring Cloud GCP Trace Starter to add distributed tracing capability to your service. It uses Spring Cloud Sleuth underneath, so it's native to Spring Boot applications, and it will automatically capture and propagate the trace ID, the span ID, and it will automatically configure Spring Cloud Sleuth to send traces to Cloud Trace. By default, Spring Cloud Sleuth will only sample and report 10% of the requests. You can adjust the sampling probability for this demo or adjust it to 100%. And this is all it takes to add distributed tracing to send traces to Cloud Trace. Similarly, to send log messages to Cloud Logging, simply add the Spring Cloud GCP Logging Starter. Then, configure the standard logback configuration to use Cloud Logging Appenders. There are two appenders you can use. If you're running on-premise, you can send log entries to the API. Or if you're running in GKE, you can use the JSON appender to produce JSON format log entries that's understood by GKE. In both cases, you do not need to change any code, simply use the existing appenders. And most importantly, the trace context information will be automatically added to the log entry so that later you can correlate the trace graph with the corresponding log messages. Let's go take a look. In the trace console, we can clearly see the trace associated with the request, but also its subsequent calls. Check the show logs checkbox, and the related log messages are also displayed. With Spring Cloud GCP, you can quickly create services or migrate existing services to utilize GCP. You can use Spring Data with Cloud Spanner, Firestore, and Data Store. You can add distributed tracing and centralized logging without adding custom code, and there's so much more. 